time for a conversation. Our attention shifts. We've finished with the praying. Now it's time to start getting ready for the Lord's Supper. And so pastor starts with this greeting once again. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up onto the Lord. And finally, it is right to give God our thanks and our praise. And then pastor launches into this prayer. Sometimes he chants it. Sometimes he speaks it. But it's kind of a strange prayer. It starts with, it is meat, right, and salutary, or it is good, right, and salutary. Meat and good mean the same thing. It's just one of those old-timey words. It's a good thing that we pray and that we recognize that on this particular Sunday, on this particular week, we look to our Lord to bring us his gift of the Lord's Supper. And as he does it, he does it in line with the scriptures that he has taught us through the readings and the sermon. And so we continue on doing just that. And we think about the gifts that God has given as the words in the dot, dot, dot parts of this prayer keep going. And then at the end, pastor recognizes along with all of us that it is right that we do this with the angels and the archangels and the whole company of heaven. This is one of the most poignant and thoughtful parts of the divine service in a lot of ways, especially if you have a family member or a friend or a loved one who's died. They're still in the church. Your membership in the church doesn't stop when you die. It, you're just not here in the pews anymore. You're with Jesus. And so we get a chance to say we're all still in the same church, saints, angels, archangels, and we get to recognize all of that glorious gift of the church as we prepare to receive the Lord's Supper.